All right, man, let's talk about the Detroit Pistons. I believe they still have a hold at power forward. Um, I don't feel like they have a true uh, modern power forward out there. Um, yesterday I spoke on Jonathan Kaminga, uh, you know, uh, but uh, let's talk about uh, a couple of the candidates that could be out there. Um, you heard some people talk about uh, Julius Randle. Um, you can really get Julius Randle for nothing. Um, and I believe the Pistons, and I'm not saying that I would do this. Um, I believe the Pistons have the body to get Julie, the bodies to get Julius Randle. Um, I think the Knicks had to throw something extra in if they got Bojanovic, but let me slow it down. And if I'm going to trade Bojan Bojanovic, it's going to be, you know, if I can't get somebody that's superior in the, uh, you know, um, just superior, like super duper superior in a deal, then it's going to have to be somebody at the power forward position. It's just simple as that. A modern power forward, they got too many of these guys that are centers when it comes to, you know, Wiseman, Isaiah Stewart, and Marvin Bagley, no matter how many, how much Piston fans want to close their eyes and call Marvin Bag Bagley a power forward and call Isaiah Stewart a stretch forward, they're not. The modern power forward is now in the build of like Carmelo Anthony. <laughs> they are the new small forward. When you talk about Tobias Harris, Paolo Barancho, Julius Randle, when you talk about those type of guys, those are the new modern power forwards. All right. That's just what it is. You, we going to have to, uh, you know, live with it. No. And, uh, you know, uh, that's just what it is. But at the same time, you know, uh, you know, Julius Randle is uh, the problem with Julius Randle is this: he loved to have a ball in his hands. That's just what it is. He's just not your typical stretch four. He loved to have a ball in his hand. He loved to create shots for himself. He more of a scorer. That's just what it is. He more of a scorer, and it's not an ideal fit. It's just as simple as that. It's not an ideal fit. Like it or not. He he's he's a scorer. He look like funny Marcos too. He's a scorer. Can he shoot the basketball occasionally? Absolutely, but he's a scorer. And I just don't feel like you need another scorer out there. You know, then you go to a guy, I think, that went to the Finnish uh, Army. You know, he went to the Finnish Army. Don't know when he returned. He should be ready by next season. Um, Lori Marketing, like him a lot. Uh, obviously, there's a little bit to be desired. Um there's a little bit to be desired when you start talking about uh, defense, but, you know, I, he almost gave you 10 rebounds a game, 26 points, two assists. Probably on the Pistons, you're going to be right around that 18 and 19 points per game mark, you know, 50%, 30. All those shooting percentages with the Pistons is going to rise because he won't be taking as many shots, you know. Um you know, but, uh, you know, a really good free throw shooter. Don't give you much of the block department, but athletic enough to get out there, move his feet, do some things. I think he might be one of my number one guys on that list. He might be somebody because he provides that shooting. Um, you know, he provides shooting. He provides the ability to stretch the floor, and that's what you're pretty much looking at. He can put the ball on the ground. He don't need the ball in his hand. You know, he can catch and shoot. If you need him to 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 uh to create, then he could create. You know, um, so that's something um that's something to look at. You know, that's something to look at. So I think he'd be a great candidate. Then I already spoke on this guy before. 
And it seems like the Bulls and the uh and the Lakers are honing in on him. Why not? If you know you and Dallas speaking, why not sign and trade? I don't care about none of that other shit he got going on as far as effort and all that. He just simply too talented. Um he just simply too talented. He's simply just too talented. I mean, almost shooting at almost 40% from three, over 50% from the field, giving you 17 points a game, damn near almost eight, over seven rebounds a game and two assists. Up to Monty Williams to get him to bring the effort out on him, play some defense. I mean, right now he'd be a most power, you know, he'd be a most talented, one of your most talented players. Overall, I believe he can, you know, be an all-star with the right push. You know, I believe he can be an all-star with the right push, you know, and, you know, they will be willing, if he's willing to come back to Detroit, it could be a sign of trade. It could be a sign of trade. You know, um, you know, and I already talked about Jonathan Kaminga. I already talked about guys like Pascal Siakam. I mean, we already talked about those type of guys. You know, we've already talked about them. So, uh, but those are a couple other guys that, uh, you know, that could be of, you know, that could be of interest. Uh, Kaminga was just hooping with Cade. I'll put it in the shorts. And then another guy that, you know, um, people tend not to want back. And I kind of agree with it, but he's on the expiring contract and um, got some experience, been here before, a uh, uh, former volunteer, Tobias Harris. Grossly overpaid, though. But uh, who am I to, you know, determine what he should and shouldn't be paid? You know, 15 points a game, almost six rebounds a game, over two assists, two and a half assists, over two and a half assists a game, excuse me. 50% for field, almost 39% for three. Solid guy. Um, could you retain him? I'm not sure, especially at the salary that he making. I don't know if anybody going to pay him that amount of money. Good locker room guy, a uh, solid dude. He'd be able to give you some 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 shooting from, from outside. Um, you know, he'd be able to give you some things. Exactly what you're looking for. A guy that can stick with people on the perimeter a little bit. He can shoot it and all of that stuff. So, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, people don't like the idea of it. And the 76ers trying to get something for him, which, you know, it is what it is. But, uh, you know, they're trying to get too much for him. And then you hear that, you know, they willing to, uh, you know, James Harden won't hold out. So it seems like James Harden going to be back there. So I think they're going to try to run it back. And that's the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again. And getting the same results. Obviously, the, the Pistons passed up on a guy like Christoph Porzingis. Um, you know, they passed up on uh I want to say it was somebody else too who got moved. John Collins, which you know, I can agree with that one. But um, but yeah, I mean, I've, obviously there's one other one where we don't really know. And you know, I heard Mike Valenti say that he would, you know, he would definitely trade for Zion Williamson. Um Obviously, it's a little bit different uh, with Zion Williamson because, you know, I heard somebody say, well, you know, Detroit, he's in Detroit, Cleveland, where he could start. Like, do people really know how great of a, a full town Detroit is? A lot of people don't know that. I don't know. They get this perception that ain't shit in Detroit. Like, literally, you know, like, what are you talking about? I've been to other cities. It ain't shit there. Detroit, ooh, we got great restaurants. We got great food. It's a great food city. This ninja is better than New Orleans as far as food. And a lot of people are not going to believe me because if you don't eat seafood and that crawfish and shit, dude, we got that too. <laughs> you know, we eating like, uh, lobster tails and, you know, uh, lamb chops and shit like that too. So people just don't know. It's the ignorance. But with him, I mean, you're just dealing with a lot. Does he want to improve? Does he want to be here? You know, is he going to fly straight? It's a lot to ask. You know, um, but hey, at the end of the day, if you can get him to to act right, then I think uh, it's a question to be had. It's a question to be had. So it's very, very interesting to see, you know, what you, you know, possibly what you can cook up with Zion Williamson. It'll have to change the dynamic, 
you know, and what's so interesting is, you know, then whoever playing the power forward position got to shoot. They got to shoot to create space for him. So it will be a lot of adjustment with him. Um, you know, um, at least Pascal so y'all can kind of stretch it out there a little bit. But, hey, uh, let me know what you girls and guys think. And obviously they can go into the season, you know, with Bojanovic at the four. I ain't mad at it because they got a lot of defense around him. Um, and I'm not mad at keeping Bojanovic at all. But, you know, they need a modern four, more than likely somebody that can stretch the floor a little bit and, and guard it, uh, out there on the perimeter. Um, I think out of all the candidates that I done spoke on, Tobias might just be from a schematic fit, might be the best candidate. But I really like Jonathan Kaminga a lot, man. And I can just bank on his shooting potential being there. So it's a lot of banking on shooting potential if you bring him in. Well, I got spoke in my video. But hey, check out Detroit Pistons to our playlist. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop a video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link description. That's in the link tree. In addition to that, that's also uh, in the uh, description as well. Appreciate it. Check out the link tree. Find me everywhere from Twitter, TikTok, and much, much more. Peace.